Sometimes to get the best accuracy from an old gun, you need new sights. So let's install some new sights on this old Winchester. I've got a Winchester 1885 low wall that we've converted from 32 rimfire to 357 Magnum. With a new bore, it shoots extremely well. But the original sights can be really hard to see and are a limiting factor in how accurately it can be shot. I've got another Winchester low wall with a folding beach style front sight and a folding tang rear. These sights really give a much more precise sight picture. The front sight bead is smaller and doesn't cover up as much of the target. And the human eye will automatically center the front sight in an aperture or peep rear sight, ensuring that the front sight is on target. To get the best accuracy out of the gun, I'm going to install these sights by Montana Vintage Arms. The front sight is a reproduction of the beach type, and the rear is a vernier type tang mounted sight. It's adjustable for both windage and elevation. I'll begin by removing the old sights using a brass punch, making sure to drift them out from left to right. The rear sight must be removed also as it would get in the way of the sight picture with the new tang sight. I'll install the new beach type front sight. It's a little loose. The old dovetail is just a bit oversized for the new sight. An easy and effective solution is to add a small piece of shim stock to the bottom of the slot. The front sight is then installed with the shim in place. This sight came with an aluminum punch that fits the contour. I'll use this punch to drift it in. From right to left. It's still a bit loose, so I'll cut a thicker piece of shim stock to tighten it up. Then drift it back in using grease to prevent galling, centering it in the dovetail. I replace the rear sight with a blank. This fills the dovetail and gives a finished look. As you can see on this original 1885, the slot filler was decorative. I'll use an old rear sight to duplicate this appearance. The old side is marked and a cutoff wheel is used to shorten the sight and match the angles on the front. I'll trim it up with a file and knock off the edges. A little cold blue finishes it up. It's also drifted in from right to left, again using grease and a piece of shim stock as the dovetails on old guns are sometimes a little loose. The new rear sight is held on with two screws. Both the tang and the plug screws are removed. Because the rear tang screw secures the sight, a longer screw is required and is included with the sight. The sight also comes with a front screw, which replaces the plug screw at the front of the tang and the sight is checked for fit. The front screw is a little long and prevents the hammer from falling. And the rear screw is a bit too long also. I'll simply shorten both of them by a few threads using a shop made fixture to hold the screws. Then grind them flush. A bit more cold blue. Reinstall the sight in the fore end and it's off to the range. <laughs>